Alright, so today's project, my friend has brought his jet ski over and we're going to be doing a little bit of a composite repair on the bottom here. And it was taking on some water and we think we found the source. So we're going to show you how to uh, do a layup similar to what we would do at work on an airplane. Um, so under here, this is kind of the area we think the issue is. And he bought this used and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna do a couple real quick tests to try and figure out exactly where the damage is and then we're gonna grind some of this paint and bondo off and see the extent of it and we'll work on the repair all right so i feel like uh, we've got some disbonding here which basically means the layers of fiberglass have kind of opened up and we have air in between them and the easiest way to test for this is we're gonna take just a metal object normally we use a coin but we've got a washer and we're gonna tap on it. Now, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up or not, but you're gonna hear, like this is a nice crisp sound. Now, when we start to move up here, it sounds a little more dull. So that kind of tells us that what we're tapping on has a lot of air in it, which is disbonding. So we're gonna clean up this area and do some grinding and see what we've got. So we don't want anything super aggressive because this uh, sands through really quick, so we've just got a green Scotch-Brite pad, and um, yeah, we're just gonna lightly take down the Bondo until we start to see fiberglass. We don't wanna go anymore. So we have definitely found the damage as you can see right here we have this soft spot which is a crack and now hopefully we can pick this up better but this is the difference between solid and not solid. So that kind of that's how you can generally tell where your repair is going to end. So back here we're still soft and then right around here we get solid. So the extent of our damage is from there to there, and then we've got a little bit of disbonding down here. So what we're gonna do is cut out this crack, and we're gonna fill this with a special fiberglass Bondo type thing that's it's impregnated with fiberglass um, strands. And that's gonna give us a base to build our actual repair off of. It's gonna give us a little bit of structure, but not that's not where the repair is gonna get its structure. Where we're gonna get its actual structure is our layup. So what we need to do next is clean up all of this and all of this because as we start to lay down our fiberglass cloth, what we need to do is every layer we add, we're gonna overlap by about a half an inch to an inch. So by the time we're done, our repair is gonna be about this size. So that's how much of this paint and Bondo we need to take off because we need to get to pure fiberglass in order for this to bond properly. All right, so we've got this cleaned up and we've got all our fiberglass exposed. Um, the extent of the damage comes all the way down to here and you can see the crack, there's another crack there. So now what we need to do is we are going to take all this damage out so that we can start to build up our repair. And I have a carbide burbot, and we're just gonna get in there, cut through that crack, and then take some of this D-lam out. So our damage is a little worse than we thought. We had some disbonding all the way up to here, so we removed this outermost layer. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we've got this um, Bondo glass, which is uh, fiberglass impregnated Bondo pretty much. And we are gonna build this back up just where we removed the fiberglass so we have a nice smooth layer to build the repair off of.
All right, so we're gonna let that cure and then we will sand everything smooth. All right, so we've gone ahead and sanded this all down. Everything is nice and smooth. Um, we did 120 grit because we do want this to have some grab on it still. So now what we're gonna do is we've got our fiberglass pieces cut already and we're just using a basic fiberglass repair kit. This comes with the cloth and the resin you need. So we are starting out with the smallest piece and this is pretty much the exact size of our repair. And then we went up an inch in both directions to give us an inch of overlap for each sheet after. So we'll go ahead and dip this in. Get it saturated with the resin. Just go on. And we'll take the little squeegee, get all the air out, and make sure everything is nice and coated in the resin. We don't want to see any dry spots. Now we'll go ahead and come with our next piece and layer that on top. We want about an inch, or sorry, a half inch overlap on either side. Then we're going to do three sheets, so this will be our last piece, which is the biggest.
And then we're just gonna continue to scrape this out until we don't see any more white like this and everything is a nice uniform color. And then we'll let that cure. So our fiberglass is cured. Um, the structural part of this repair is done. So now we just need to prep it and then do some basic body work. I've already gone ahead with the whiz wheel and just feathered in the edges of this and kind of cleaned up any of the excess resin. And now what we're gonna do is just take a sander and gently hit all of this just to get it nice and smooth and give it a little texture for our Bondo to stick to. Uh, we don't wanna go through the top layer of resin or into the cloth, we just wanna take out any of these lines from the squeegee. So we are all sanded down and cleaned up. This is nice and kind of rough so this Bondo will stick to it. I went ahead and cleaned it with acetone and now we are just gonna put some of the Bondo glass on it. Uh, we're gonna be using this instead of regular Bondo because we want this to be kind of strong in case uh, anything hits it so it won't chip out. So we'll go ahead and get that mixed up and start applying it. So we've got two layers of the fiberglass bondo built up and sanded down and our ridge is pretty much built up for the most part. So now I've gone ahead and put a fairly thick skim coat of just regular bondo on and this sands a lot easier than that other stuff so this is just going to help us sand down that final contour and get everything nice and smooth. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to 220 grit on our sanding disc and we'll hit that real lightly. So we've got this all knocked down. Now the last thing we're gonna do is take some sandpaper on a wooden block. And this is gonna just make sure everything is smoothed down for our final contour. So we're all sanded down and this is cleaned up with acetone. Now, even though we're gonna be re-gel coating this and this is gonna get kind of sanded down again, we're gonna put a bunch of layers of wash primer on and wet sand this down and then any low spots are gonna show up as primer color versus Bondo. So we'll get this coated and then we'll let that dry a day or two and sand it. So we're wet sanded down with a sanding block and some 400 grit paper. And what we're looking for is, we don't wanna see any spots where we still see primer like this. 
Um, these areas here, it's really hard to get in there with the sanding block, so we're gonna have those. But what we don't want is anything on any of these flat surfaces, kinda like right here, this just needs to get hit some more. But if we still have primer there, that would show that we had a low spot, so that would need to be addressed. Um, I don't see anything that we need to address. Um, in part two of this video, we are actually going to be re-gel coating this whole jet ski because we do have some other areas that had some nicks that got filled. Um, but for right now, I'm actually going to paint this yellow just to kind of show what it's going to look like once the gel coat's on. So the repair portion and bodywork is done. Um, like I said, I just put this yellow coat on just so everything kind of looked the same so we could see it. Um, part two of this video, we're going to sand everything down and rough up the edge and fix any little spots like this um, that just need a little bit of filler and get it all sanded out. And then we are going to be gel coating the entire underside of this. So uh, stay tuned for that.